Okay, so do any of you guys have any toxic friends or hack? Raise your hands. <laughs> so I know that I have had toxic friends, um, and I know that he was saved by God's grace when I thought that he was too far gone. Whoa, well, he wasn't because you know God made him. Um, I all started in fourth grade. I can't remember the exact year when we first moved here, and it was a completely new experience because we were moving from Oregon, and Ooh. our family. <laughs> Our family hadn't really gone to church very much there, so church was a new experience here. And I was having to restart in school, so my friend, I won't name names, took me under his wing and kind of led me through it, and we became friends very fast. I think he was the fastest friend I've ever made, because we had basically everything in common, except for he's quite a few inches taller than me. <laughs> and um, we both loved Jurassic Park, Star Wars, reading, etc. And it was all fun until sixth grade when everything just did a complete 180. We were in completely different classrooms, um, on opposite ends of the hall, so just to add insult to injury. And he started hanging out with the wrong people. Uh, these people cussed, they were immature, and he started taking influence from them. So that kind of stuck with him all throughout the rest of the year until seventh grade. And seventh grade, right then, we had kind of just had enough. So we had to decide we were going to do something or we were going to have to kick him out of a friend group. And we didn't, we were too nice to do that. We started, I know I started praying, I don't know about everybody else, and there was this one lunch where we had together, that we had together, and we decided to tell him a small excerpt from the Bible. Uh, we told him, I believe it is Ephesians 4.29, that says, Let no impure talk escape your lips but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Um, and I told him the sixth verse, the sixth, sorry, not sixth verse, sixth commandment, thou shalt not commit adultery. And it kind of stuck with him because he came to a grinding halt with all his bad personality. And it was best feeling in the world, knowing that God had answered your prayers, he had not given up on your best friend, and it's just indescribable. And so when I was writing this, um, the lyrics from Reckless Love came to me. There's no shadow you won't light up, no mountain you won't climb up, coming after, in this case, my friend. So that kind of stuck with me up to this point, and it's still stuck like glue. So, um, before I close out, I want to leave you guys with a verse and a message. My verse is Ephesians, or no, not Ephesians, sorry, I'm moving. Matthew 5, 14, 16. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that may, they may see your good deeds and glorify your help, Father in heaven. So what I'm asking of you guys is to be the light you wish to see in the world. I think Gandhi also said that. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> and to pray for someone you are tempted to think is too far gone, because I saw everybody raise their hands. So at least one person in your life is what you think would be too far gone. So I want you to go home and pray tonight before bed, or if you can, pray every day of the week, and I guarantee that you will see some good change in their lives. So I will close this out in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for letting us come together tonight to 
have fun, but also learn about you. Um, we pray that any friends that we have who are influenced by Satan, that we will be able to pray and you will answer our prayers and turn their lives upside down, God, in the right way. That they would be a good friend. They would build others up instead of tearing them down. And I pray that the rest of the night will go well without any injuries, because as you know, it's getting late. <laughs> and in your name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs>